Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Boca Juniors against Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Julian Brandt plays alongside Mahmoud Dahoud in the centre of the pitch. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And they kick off here. Guillermo Fernandez. Ramirez. He's managed to lose his marker. Delivering it into the box. Looking away patiently, looking for an opening. Strength and control, a big part of his game. An alert piece of defending. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Alert defending. Dario Benedetto. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Guerrero. Daniel Malen. Now Holland. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Cuts it back. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Now the delivery, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Daniel Malen 
Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Campuzano. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Doniel Malin. It's with Dahoud. Manuel Akanji. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And Bellingham. Opportunity here. And the lead fully merited. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So 2-0 now. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. Can they slot at home? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, that was a magnificent save. Just how did he keep that out? That's incredible. Hummers. Brandt with it. Making progress is Royce, and options around him. Can he finish? And someone to play it to. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Yeah, he just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. So the second half is underway, and I must say it really was a terrific performance from Borussia Dortmund in the first 45. Dahoud. Now with Bellingham. Rice. It's with Dahoud. And now they have the ball back. Couldn't keep it. Hummers. Dahoud. Daniel Malin. Now Holland. And that's an important intervention. Now can they counter clinically? Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And that is going to be a free kick.
Substitution time it is here. Delivered into the box. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. 30 minutes left for play. Bellingham. Dahoud. Brandt. Able to skip past his man. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Ramirez oh he's given us away this might be ideal for the counter will they profit from this situation Jude Bellingham Holland and let's give credit to the defending that's a fairly easy say for any keeper to make Luis Advincula, Campuzano, Diego Gonzalez, a possession lost, intercepted. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, big chance! Teammate available. Dahoud. Here's Royce. Still looking to get the shot off. And a timely intervention. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Played over. Foiling them effectively. Holland. Really getting stuck in defensively. And just five minutes remaining. Using his strength to shield the ball. Daniel Malin. Nice. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Romero. Good pass. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Well, a fine performance from Erling Haaland. Really in line with what we expected, I think. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?